Hi, I'm Matt Cowell. I work at the Registry of Standard Biological Parts and help run the iGEM competition. I recently had the opportunity to sit down with Drew Endy and ask him to describe the basics of synthetic biology. In this clip, I asked Drew, just what is synthetic biology? And so synthetic biology is an approach to engineering biology, right? So you were saying it's a, a standard biological parts or something like that, whatever that is. We'll have to have, you know, have to come talk to me tomorrow so we can figure that one out. Um, so it's an approach to engineering biology. That means it's not metabolic engineering. That means it's not bioprocess engineering. That means it's not cancer cell engineering. It means it's an approach to making those sorts of things. Um, so it's not the particular application, it's the method or approach you use to realize a particular application. To say that differently, synthetic biology isn't making a specific thing, it's how you make something, right? And I think if you focus on that, if I could get other people to think about that, uh, if the iGEM students could help me get other people to think about that, then maybe I wouldn't be so frustrated when I go to meetings and hear people try and explain what synthetic biology is and they don't have an answer. Well, that's a pretty good start, but what exactly are some of the pr fundamental principles of that uh, global biological method? Yeah, that's method? a good question. I think that's pretty easy, right? So, so what is biotechnology, right? Well, biotechnology as a process depends on engineering DNA, right? And so we can use recombinant DNA, restriction enzymes and ligation, you know, ligation reactions to make stuff. Then we can use polymerase chain reaction to amplify up genetic material and change it. And then we can use automated sequencing, right? A DNA sequencer to read out the DNA, right? And so the last 30 years of biotech depend on these three technologies which define the process for writing DNA, making things that we want, and reading it out. And this is what's called genetic engineering, right? So when people go, oh, how is what you're doing genetic any different than genetic engineering? For it to be different than genetic engineering, there has to be more stuff on this list. Right? And that's what synthetic biology is. Again, it's not what you make, it's how you make it. So, the first new thing on the list is automated construction of DNA. This one's pretty tricky because it costs money. Can I have your credit card? No. Shit. Um, well, any case, uh, automated construction of DNA, if you can pay somebody money, they'll make DNA for you. So instead of using this and this to write DNA, you have a new writing technology. Um, maybe if I use this, you could be the expert designer of DNA and somebody else could be the expert constructor of DNA. The same way architects are really good at designing buildings, engineers are really good at building buildings, and so on. Standards. What are we going to make? Am I going to make something that's a piece of art? Well, maybe if I'm a genetic artist, but maybe I want to make a lot of things quickly, and so I need some way of defining how I put things together. So I'm going to need some standards that tell me what to make. That's going to be new. Six. Abstraction. Well, we're almost out of time, so let me turn off this timer and then I'll finish. Last thing is abstraction. Everybody talks about how complicated biology is. And when we engineer DNA today, we usually memorize specific DNA sequences and we program at this level. This would be like programming computers at this level. Nobody does this anymore because it's too much of a pain in the butt, right? We have much more powerful ways of hiding all this complexity in computers. We need the same sorts of things in biology. That's going to be this last thing. So anyway, we'll come back and talk about that maybe day after tomorrow. Um, in any case, what is synthetic biology? Well. It builds on genetic engineering, recombinant DNA, PCR, automated sequencing, by adding three new foundational technologies, automated construction, standards, and abstraction. These are each as important as any of these, and taken together, they define a new process for engineering biological systems. This is called synthetic biology. It's a means to an end. Make it easier to build things. Define the things that you're building with using standards. Hide biological complexity with abstraction. 
Thanks a lot, Drew. That was very informative.